Now at four o'clock, this is great. History is being made on the Yale campus. Earlier this week, we reported the Yale student body elected its first ever Muslim student body president. I just love this. That student is also the sister of our very own Aya Galal. So we sent Aya to New Haven to talk with her little sister about what the election means to her and to the university. History has been made here at Yale for the first time in 320 years the institution has elected a Muslim as student body president. She's also the college's first Arab American and hijabi to be elected in this role. And she happens to be my little sister, Bayan. Now, it's not every day that a reporter gets to interview her little sister. So I'm very excited to be here with my sister, Bayan Galel. Bayan, congratulations. Thank you for penciling in me into your busy schedule. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> so first off, I think many people want to know, why did you want to run for student body president in the first place? Yeah, so I think that the role of student body president is one where you're uniquely situated to really advocate for the student body and especially advocate for marginalized communities on campus. And so I felt that especially in the wake of the pandemic, this was an incredibly important time to step up to you know, run for this role and see what I could do for the Yale student body, what results I could deliver, and how I could better the school in my time here. So Bayan, you and I both know this firsthand. There's a lot of misunderstandings and misconceptions about Muslim and Islam. So what do you think this moment, this historic moment means for Muslims here at Yale, Muslims in the state, across the country and across the globe? I think it's a really exciting and pivotal moment for Muslims right now, especially on Yale's campus. I think without a doubt, Yale is a place that wasn't originally made for Muslims. It wasn't originally made for other underrepresented and marginalized communities. And I think having a student body president that comes from one of those backgrounds is incredibly important because it means that we're moving in the right direction. We're moving in a direction where not only do we have Muslim students and other, you know, underrepresented minorities on campus, but we have them in, you know, positions and roles where they can advocate for others and thrive in a really exciting way. You've put a lot of thought into your policies, your initiatives. What is your vision for Yale? What do you want to see changed here on campus? Yeah, I think ultimately the vision is to have individual and collective well-being at Yale. I think while Yale is an incredible place, there is a lot of difficulties that students still face here. And my vision for Yale is that we emphasize all of the different needs of students at once. All right, Bayan, one more important question I wanted to ask. Of all your siblings, who do you borrow clothes from the most? It's you. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't deny it. Sir. All right, Van, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. I'm very, very proud of you as your big sister. Congratulations. We can't wait to see all that you accomplish. Your family is very proud of you. I think you've got an exciting presidential term ahead. So reporting in New Haven, Ayagalel, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.